What's up, y'all? I'm Emil and it's Junior back here with Clever News, and justice is finally being served for Taylor Swift's stalker, who is set to serve prison time after sending threatening letters and emails to her former record label for years. What a wild roller coaster of a week for Taylor Swift, who made her first appearance back on the ACM stage in Nashville last night after seven years. But she also made headlines Wednesday after it was announced that her longtime stalker, Eric Swarbrick, has officially been sentenced for harassment and harmful threats made towards Taylor. Just yesterday, a federal judge sentenced a Texas native to 30 months in prison after he pled guilty to stalking and sending threatening letters and emails to Taylor's former music label, Big Machine Records. According to records filed in federal court, the terms of the sentence, which also include three years of supervised release, were agreed upon by prosecutors in a plea deal he entered back in 2019. Taylor first filed a complaint back in 2018, which claimed that a man has sent over 40 letters and emails to Big Machine, asking CEO Scott Borchetta to introduce introduce him to Taylor. After ignoring the letters, they eventually became increasingly violent and sexual to the point where Swarbrick would drive to Nashville to personally hand deliver the letters on multiple occasions. He was eventually arrested by the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department after wandering the halls of the label's building and shortly after continued to contact Big Machine claiming that he would rape and kill Taylor as well as kill himself in front of Scott Borchetta and staff. Taylor alluded to being attacked in the 2019 essay for Elle magazine when she revealed that her fear of violence is quote, continued into my personal life. She added, I carry quick clot army grade bandage dressing, which is for gunshot or stab wounds. Websites and tabloids have taken it upon themselves to post every home address I've ever had online. You get enough stalkers trying to break into your house and you kind of start prepping for bad things. Thankfully, it seems she's prepared for anything, but the fact that Taylor feels the need to constantly take these precautions every time she steps out the door is alarming in and of itself. But it wasn't just Taylor who recently dealt with the stalker. News broke yesterday that Katy Perry was also granted a restraining order against the man named William Terry. She claims has been stalking her and making death threats via social media. Katie reportedly filed for the order on Monday, to which was granted on the same day according to court documents obtained by Page Six. Details of the restraining order claim that Terry, who is believed to be homeless and living in a silver Buick sedan, has been harassing her and her family with the most recent incident occurring just last week on September 8th. Katie claimed, quote, Terry jumped the fence of my home in the Beverly Hills area of Los Angeles. Security ordered Terry to leave. When he refused, he was placed under citizen's arrest and then formally arrested for criminal trespass by the Los Angeles Police Department. This is especially alarming considering Katie and her fiance Orlando Bloom were home during the time of the incident and had just gave birth to their daughter Daisy Dove at the end of August. Katie also claimed that Terry admitted to the responding officers that he wanted to enter her home on that date and only a month prior to admitting he attempted to enter her home again August 3rd. Katie wrote in the documents that she was fearful that this man will attempt to enter again mostly because he made death threats on social media one of which even naming Orlando saying that he wants to snap Orlando Bloom's neck. That said, the restraining order also applies to Orlando, Daisy, and Orlando's son Flynn he shares with his ex-wife Miranda Kerr. We're just glad to hear that as of now, all the necessary precautions have been made in order to ensure the safety of Taylor, Katie, and her new family. And to see why fans also think that Taylor serves some justice to Kanye West, click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know your thoughts on these stalkers down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil, and it's Junior, and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.